How's it going everyone and welcome back to Whiskier. I got one of my greatest friends, co-workers with me here, been knowing this guy for a few years now and I thought it would be cool to bring him onto the channel uh, just so you're not just getting my same old opinion. We got another person with us. He's been into bourbon about how long? Uh, I'd say about a year. About a year now. Um, about a year. I'm very proud that you are <laughs> into the bourbon game now because I was a little lonely for a while. I was like the only one drinking whiskey uh, that out of my friend group. So now that he's into it, he, he, he went full force, just like I did. Yes. Started yeah. his own collection, uh, found his taste buds. He does make some funny faces sometimes. So he's working on that. Here and there. It's, it's not that I don't like it. Um, I don't know if it, what it is about the, the ethanol flavor makes my nostrils flare. So and, yeah. <laughs> and every time, the first time that I saw that he tried whiskey with me, I was, I was a little <laughs> upset because I gave him some good stock. I gave him Eagle Rare, you know, Blanton and stuff like that. And he tasted it and he goes, that's good. And I'm like, wait, what? You're contradicting yourself by that. Anyway, so today we're gonna be doing, I thought this would be a cool idea. They're not the same distillery. Every single distillery listed on here is different. However, I wanted to see out of the bottles that I have, what company makes the best store picks? And obviously they're single barrels. So they're gonna be different every single time that a store does a pick. It's gonna taste a little different than before, but uh, out of the ones I do have now, I wanna find out which one's the best. And I have my guesses, I have some predictions, but we'll talk about what we got. We got a JT Mellick single barrel pick by the Acadiana Bourbon Society page back home in Louisiana. We have a Four Roses single barrel, a local store here in Colorado. I think it's up north in the Denver area. We have a Buffalo Trace store pick from Veterans Liquor here in Colorado Springs. Shot a video with them, had to grab a couple bottles. This is also the bottle in the giveaway. I also have a 1792 full proof, full proof single barrel. And that one is pretty cool. It's one of the coolest bottles out of the bunch. And then last but not least, I have a Knob Creek single barrel, which notoriously I'm not the biggest fan of. So I think, you know, because I sip on these a lot, I have a feeling I'll be able to pick out which ones um, maybe by the brand, but I want to see which one's the best. Yeah, I'm I'm super interested. I've actually only had the JT Mellick and the Buffalo Trace. So this will be a, a straight I up one. I haven't had any. I had a, a small sample of a of a Four Roses, um, but I've really I really only know like JT Mellick yeah. and Buffalo Trace. So like r ranking these is going to be super interesting to like. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah. And the thing is that y'all know, um, I know the bottles that we're sipping. I don't know what order they're in. They're completely blind. Okay. Nate behind the camera here poured them up. So we're going to start from the left all the way to the right with glass one. You ready? Yeah. Cheerio. Oh, I, I think this is the JT. Uh, no, no way. This is JT. Bro, this tastes really familiar. So I don't think because I have a feeling that this one is the BG. This is Knob Creek. This is Knob Creek, 100%. Through and through, this is Knob Creek. This is giving me Knob Creek all day long, and if it's not, whatever bottle this is, I'm never buying a bottle again. And I'll, I'll say that, um, any one of these brands that are in here, if this ain't Knob Creek and it's one of those, I will not buy from it. Cause this I is Knob Creek, dude. This I, I mean, this isn't- It's good though. This is a good Knob Creek. If, I, I, I don't know what it is, but if this was on my shelf, it wouldn't be my first grab, it wouldn't be my last grab. Um, totally agree. I'd probably use it as a mixer. Yep. Um, it's good. It, it's relatively smooth, um, but there's not a lot of flavor. I feel like. Um, I, for me, it's just so familiar with that knob flavor. And out of all of the ones I had, it's a, sometimes a little bit of a bitter oak off of knob creeks. But this one, it's actually pretty sweet. It's pretty good. It's not terrible. What do you think? It's okay. Just, just it, remember it, and, and we're gonna go back and rank these. All right, moving on to, we got the mini glass. We got a bunch of different glasses tonight. We're mixed matching. Super uh, sweet. I, yeah, I yeah. say I love this on the nose. I like this too. It's a, uh, like honey. I definitely get caramel. Caramel, a lot yeah. Of caramel. That's like the only thing, it's yeah. just oh, caramel. All right. Mm. This is good. Definitely better than this one. Hundred percent. I think this this one's better than this one. Yeah. It doesn't go down, in my opinion. It doesn't go down as smooth, um, but flavor wise, the the flavor is a lot better. I'm second guess myself now. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is not, but I, that could be from the first one. I don't know. 
trying to think. I, I normally like a palate cleanser, you know, say what you want. But if I had to give a guess. This one sips proofy. I, I know, actually I do think I know what this is. Um, I'll talk about that later. This one sips higher proof for me. Yes, yes. You feel it, yeah. it but I, I'm starting to, me and you were just talking about that. I'm starting to love when a bourbon is just. Mm. So uh, he, he was telling me one time, like when, when, you're, when you're tasting bourbon, think about what part of the tongue that you feel it on. Like if it is the back of your tongue, the, is it your whole mouth, the sides of your tongue? And ever since then, it's like changed almost my whole perspective yeah. on tasting. And this one, I taste like, I, I feel like it's the middle of my tongue. Middle, yep, yeah. 100%. And um, yeah, it's proofy, but I like it. I like that hug that it gives you. So I'm gonna go to glass three now, whenever you're ready. I definitely prefer it though. Yeah, this one's definitely better than that one. <sighs> I like this nose too. <laughs> Smells nice. This one, it smells really sweet, like a white sugar, um, which I've been getting a lot more lately in a lot of my whiskeys and bourbons, and I really like it. I dig it. I like the brown sugar, the note that you get a lot too, but this is just smells sweet, like super sweet. Okay. I definitely haven't had this one before. I'm pretty sure you have. I, I know, know that. The, I know what this is. Okay. Um, I, I know I haven't had this one before. <laughs> this is not the JT Mellon. This is not the Buffalo Trace. Um, it, it's pretty good. Um, this is my favorite so far, and I want to say this is the JT Mellon. I'm pretty sure. Really? I'm almost positive. I'm not. I'm again. This is a blind. I I don't know. I don't know. Nate sitting behind the camera like. Ooh. You know, he's not gonna give me uh, hits. I don't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, whatever you were saying, I don't think this is JT Melick. My face is just, yeah. you know, I'm like, Shh. I'm pretty sure this is, this is my favorite one so far, unbiasedly. It just sips so good for me. Um, yeah, it's just good. I mean, I mean, it's really nice. And so the reason I, the only reason I would say it's JT Melick is because um, I feel like I could taste the, the rice, but I don't taste any grain on this. I just taste a lot of sweet. It's sugary. It's very sweet. And at the end, you get like right whenever you swallow, it's like a, I don't know, like a barrel note that it just, it pairs so well with the sweetness. This is very good. Yeah, that's my number one so far, big time. Um, For me, these two go like relatively hand in hand. Um, if you had to pick one. If I had to pick one, I would have okay. to pick this one. All right. But not by a mile or anything. All right. Okay. Fourth. Oh, I like this a lot. This might be the best nose. That is so nice. I almost get, and maybe I'm chirping, but I almost get like a floral. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely do now that you say yeah. that. It's so weird when someone will point out something. Yes. I, oh. I, and I always feel like that guy, you know, like, um, you know, they say something and you're like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to agree with it in. <laughs> but like, no, uh, that happens to me all the time. Someone will point oh, something out man. and then. You know what I'm getting off of this? Here's the three notes that I can say the best. Like a rose, floral, yeah. chocolate, like milk chocolate, and then some brown sugar. It's just good. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. 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 I agree. <laughs> all right. Let's try this bad right. boy. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's good as fuck. I like that. <laughs> I don't think, I think this that. is the Knob Creek. Really? I, don't know. I like it then. I mean, maybe it's a non popular opinion. I don't know. I, I'm not a fan. But um, I, I taste that chocolate. Um, I, like, initially, initial is the chocolate. On the finish, I taste the. Barrel. I definitely get a lot of. This almost tastes like a single malt. Like yeah, the, yeah. This reminds me a lot of a single. I don't know why, but um, wow, this is weird. I, I thought I would be able to tell what every single one of these are. And I'm sorry if this wasn't Knob Creek to the brand. You're probably not going to see this, but um, not good. I. And this, this is, is not very, good either. This I really I like this. Mm. I, I think it's it's nice on the nose. I get a bitter oak off of it, man. I'm just not a fan of the bitter oak taste. 
At, uh, on the finish, there, it, on the finish, the oak, it, it's it's a it's a bitter oak, but initial. So I guess it comes down to preference, you know. Um, Dude, that gotta be not creek. Initially, I taste chocolate. I don't know. Poo. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna look like a fucking idiot, but you know. Oh, sorry. You're good. <laughs> Can we edit that part out? <laughs> All right. On to the fence. Now we're on to the fancy glass. We we'll have to twirl. You have to twirl, dude, with the stem. It's so cool. Okay. Yeah. You like it makes it taste better if you twirl it with the stem. Oh yeah, you're, I'm so serious. You're oxidizing it. I'm so serious. Yeah. Oh. Buffalo Trace. It's got to be. None of these have. Have any of these tasted like Buffalo Trace to you? No, none of them taste like Buffalo Trace to me. This has to be. It smells like it. It smells so good. I get that. But what's so weird too on a good bit of single barrels or a couple of whiskeys I've had lately. I don't know. It's just the Christmas season, and I'm smelling a lot of. You know, people have those uh, tree scents out. Yeah. I smell a lot of Christmas tree on this too. Yeah, I mean, smell it again. <clears throat> see if you don't catch that, like a little pine needle or something. I I don't get it, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> All right, that's right. That's buffalo. Trace. That's buffalo. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. And that's so good. Yeah. Um, you know, at Veterans, whenever we tried it, um, I know- That's John crazy, because I feel like I'm ranking it one, two, three, four, five. Like- Oh, you don't like this one? Huh? You don't like this one? Oh, no, I meant like, okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for, yeah, for me, I know when we were at the store, because you filmed that video. Yes. When we were at the store, uh, Justin, he let us try it. He let us try it. We were already going to buy it, but he let us try it, and he was like- yeah, it's not my favorite. Yeah, he wasn't crazy about it. Um, I'm crazy about this one. I love he, this He one. didn't like the finish on it. And watch well, us talk. We're going to talk 10 minutes about this and it's not even Buffalo Trace. <laughs> I know. I know for a fact this is Buffalo Trace. Um, oh no, I, I, I've been in, like, like we said in the beginning, I've been in the the, the whiskey game for about a year now. Um, my palate isn't exactly um, when it comes to guessing like a hundred percent, but I know what I prefer. I like vanilla, caramel, we did um and buffalo trace is right up my alley and if i had if i had to place money on it i would say that this one's buffalo trace so for me this ranks number one i think the number glass number two uh was my second favorite i thought that was so good it was just so sweet so smooth so good um third place is the fancy i thought it was, i thought it was pretty solid buffalo trace is just great and i'm yeah. i know this is buffalo trace and then for me it's a toss up between the last two. And I'm not sure which one's Knob Creek because I thought right off of the bat. Wait, you liked the, uh, for, for last place? For, for last, I'm okay. trying to decide. This was last place for me, the smaller one. So glass number five was last place for me. Okay. Okay. But I had a tough time saying or deciding, you know, which one of these are Knob Creek because they both kind of reminded me of it. But I'll say this, I'll go over my guesses really quick. Buffalo Trace. JT Mellick, my number one. I think this is 1792. One of these has to be a four rose. This is 1792 or, or four roses. I'm not sure. And what order you got? Uh, as far as guesses, I'm I, honestly, I'm a little lost. I, I, I'm i pretty confident this is Buffalo Trace. I'm a big Buffalo Trace yes. fan. Um, I will agree. It is the, the, main, the main bottle I'll grab for a sipper. Um, I, and that's why I think I'm gonna rank it number one. Um, it, it's so good. I, I'm not sure what bottle this one is, but this is the one that we got like a little bit of floral and chocolate, which sounds like it wouldn't be very good, but um, on, you know, initially I got a lot of chocolate. At the end, I did get a little bit of a bitter on oak. On which one? Uh, this one right yes, here. Yes, yes. Yeah, I got a bitter oak on the end. Okay, so um, you're still keeping that in second then? Yes, yeah, okay. yes, okay. I, I, I do. This could be interchangeable. If, if okay, it, yeah, yeah. That, that happens a lot in blinds too. You'll have one that it's like, and I, I tell you all this all the time, there's, oh, I shouldn't say that. These two I really wasn't a fan of. So either of these two, I probably won't just buy all the time. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, every single bottle that we taste here on the channel and stuff, I really do enjoy. And it's not that it's terrible just because it ranks last. Yeah. It's just my palate today wasn't working with that bourbon. And, and and that's kind of what I've I've found crazy with uh, bourbon too, is that when there's certain bottles on certain days that I prefer over one another, you yeah. know what I mean? Like one day 
um, I'll be all about Blanton's. Yep. And then the next day I'm all about like uh, Penelope. Get a load of this tater. <laughs> I love Blanton's. All right. um, he, yeah. it, 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 Eagle Rare and Blanton's. Tell them, tell them what you call me. Uh, I call him a Blanton's hater. It's, because it's, every, I love Blanton's and every time I talk about it, he just puts his head down. <laughs> it's and, because that, dude, there's better stuff out there, y'all. Uh, and Okay, yes. You, you know, maybe there is think, better stuff out there. I think these top am, three are better than Blanton's. I, no. Yeah, dude. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm newer to the whiskey game, okay, but Blanton's is very good. Okay. Um, I remember the first time I went over to your house, you gave me a sip of Blanton's in a blind. Yeah. And I ranked it second. What beat it? Green River. Green yeah. River beat. You're a big Green River fan. I am a big Green River fan, which is awesome because Green River is- Always available. Is, it's always available and it's really cheap. It's like maybe 30 bucks yeah. a bottle. Um. So this is this is your order though. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so Let's, last the first. Yours is a, a little like mix match a little bit to me. Like I kept mine in order. So we're gonna is it cool if we go off of mine? We'll see what bottles. Okay. We'll still yeah, see what yeah, bottles. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, 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 we could do that. I mean right. I'm gonna he's gonna anything, edit this part out. I feel like if anything, yours is a mismatch. Like mine literally was in order five, four, three, two. Oh one, really? One. Why is that Glenn? Why is the stem last? We drank that second last. Well, no, no, this was last. This was the last one we drank. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> okay. Wait, Kanan. Um, did you move them? You move them around? No, this is glass I one. Did, I did not. Look, move this them is glass around. one. No, because because Pinky, remember Pinky? That was the last glass. That was second to last. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't. Last it was last. You want to bet? I'll bet. I'll bet right now. I'll put right. twenty on it. Twenty. I'll put twenty on it. <laughs> I'll okay. put twenty on it. Wait. Put... I thought he was gonna run it back real quick. <laughs> No, you're you're completely wrong. I swear, bro. <laughs> you're wrong. How much are we betting? No, seriously, can uh, we stop right now and okay. look at? Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, All right, bet. 20 yeah, bucks. twenty bucks. And Buffalo Trace is right up my alley. And if I had, if I had to place money on it, so what we're gonna do because our our, our order's a little different. If you don't mind, we'll go off of mine. Yeah, just, just go off of yours. And then we'll talk about them both it together. It is the whiskey channel. Okay. Oh, yeah. rocking the shirt too. <laughs> yes. I like it. Hey, if yes. if you want a whiskey or shirt. Let me know your size in the comments before we and, place an order. I'd like to pre-order. And you know, I don't want to get too off topic here, but it is very comfortable. It's not a regular it's, cotton it, shirt. No, it's not. It's super soft. Um, you could wear this around the house to relax in. Okay. It's super soft. You could wear it out. Um, this it, is not a paid promotion. This is not a paid promotion. <laughs> All right. I'm not just saying it because he's my friend either. <laughs> so yeah. what we're going to give you is my second to last. And this was Jaren's last place, just to kind of get that one out of the way. Yeah. Um, so. I had my guesses. I thought this was Knob Creek or it could be a Four Roses. All right, let's see what it is. Four Roses. I did say four that. Roses. I literally wow. did say that. I said it was either a Knob Creek or Four Roses. That's my guess. And um, I might, I'm not going to be buying these anymore. And to be, <laughs> I said that. I'm standing strong. Okay. Here's the only thing too. I do want to talk about this. I'm almost positive. No, I, I am positive. This is the most expensive bottle on the whole list. These go for yeah. about a hundred dollars. Some people can find them for around 80 um, for store picks and they have so many recipes. Look, I'll show you really quick. This is the list of recipes that they have. They're all different. So the thing is, I I always recommend it though. And I still will, but not a store pick. I always recommend. So, so which one's this one then? OBSO. This Where is does the, it say that? Yeah, I will say that. This is the OBSO um, recipe here. Okay. Now I will say this. I always recommend in my videos that someone goes out and buys a Four Roses single barrel if you're getting into whiskey. This is not something that you're just getting in the whiskey because this is a single barrel and it's in its barrel proof. This comes in at over 115 proof. So again, still look for those single barrels if you're just getting into whiskey, if you're watching the channel, if you enjoy whiskey and you don't have a standard single barrel on your shelf, go buy it. For me, this just wasn't hitting tonight. It was the second to last. And you know what's crazy? The other day I compared it to some stags and this was up there with a, it was great. Just tonight, you know, your palates are ever changing and that's what it is, but I'm standing by, I'm not buying any store picks anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wasn't a fan of it either. Um, it wasn't disgusting by any means. Um, yeah, no, not disgusting. No, but. But kind of. <laughs> well, all I know is I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars for it. Agreed. Um, yeah, if, if this was a $20, $30 bottle. It'd be sure. a banger, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But um, for a hundred dollars, absolutely not. Um, and I'm sticking by what I said, not the not the first bottle I grabbed, not the last. Yeah. And I would use it as a mixer. 100%. Um, but if we're talking mixers, there's plenty of other bottles I'd also prefer for mixers yeah. too. So, 
So that's, and then yeah. whenever, it wasn't until I got to this glass, which we're gonna show next, I thought that was Knob Creek. It gave me a bitter barrel note. This is, this has to be Knob Creek to me. And you actually enjoyed it. You ranked that second. This one? Yes. Okay, yeah. So I did. Um, this was uh, on the nose. I got floral. I got a lot of floral. Um, and then on the initial, like on my palate, I, initially I got a lot of chocolate. Yeah, I did um, too. I'm a big, um, when, when it comes to whiskey, I love chocolate. I love caramel. I love vanilla. Yeah. Um, that, that That's like my flavor palette. And I got a lot of chocolate with this one. Um, it was, yeah, I, I thought it was very good for me. I did get a lot of those notes. It's just, I guess with this one and the next bottle we're about to show, it's just that bitter oak that came through for me that I wasn't crazy about. So let's see what it is. Yeah, I guess it's not. This is your second, second to last. It is no, it's not pre it is. Yeah. No. Um, I, I liked it a lot. Um, like so I said, there's a lot of chocolate the, in it. The cool let's thing see. is this, this is 120 proof and it is a store pick. Obviously all these are, that's a silly thing to say, but. For me, this is one of the better Knob Creek store picks that I've had. I will admit that. Thank you to Joe, a great friend of mine, great friend of his, and also a Patreon subscriber for donating damn near ha over half of these bottles. <laughs> I really appreciate him for that. But yeah, this is definitely the better Knob Creek one that I've had. It just was not it for me today. Um, I got a lot of chocolate on the palate. And when it comes to my, um, like what I prefer, I like a lot of caramel, vanilla, chocolate. Um, I, I like a lot of weed yeah. too. And you know, I, he's always hated on Knob Creek. I've, I've actually never tried it. Um, and I, I enjoy it. I so, like it. And, and it's easily available. I've seen it everywhere. on every liquor store I've gone to. I will, I would almost go out and say, this is probably one of the easiest store picks you can find of a bourbon, right? It has to be. That, that's uh, a fair. Damn that's near fair every thing. store that is big into store picks has a knob pick sitting on their shelf a lot of the times. And they do sit on the shelf. So it's not like a super sought after single barrel. So Knob Creek has a new fan. And I'm sure there's a lot of Knob Creek fans that watch this. It's just not my, my cup of tea. So we're going to go to uh, third place now, your first place. This is your first, and we're Buffalo almost Trace. positive this is Buffalo Trace. I, I, I can. Yeah, it is. I'm not it's positive on any any of these. I'm positive that this is Buffalo Trace. Bingo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Buffalo Trace it is. Bu absolutely right. Um, As you can see, how long ago? Maybe it was less than a month that we filmed the video. I'm already tearing through this bottle. It is just fantastic pick by Veterans Liquor. Also want to say it was $24. 24. For value, it, dude? It was, it, it's so good. I'm Buffalo Trace is a, it, to me, it's a classic. It's um, it, it's not my favorite bottle, but it's definitely my favorite distillery, and it it's it's so good. And, and yeah, it's it's just it's, a classic to me. It's great, and, and I will say this is the lowest proof by a lot on this list. It comes in at ninety proof, but the the notes that you get, the sweetness, it's so smooth. It's just fantastic. It, it that checks out too, because yeah. um, my my proof range is usually around um, one ten. I would say is the that's around, like, yeah. If I were to pick a barrel, it'd probably be around 110. So, um, and what is the proof on here? Like 100? 90. 90? Yeah. So that, that checks out. I little lower proof, and I knew it was out of yeah. tasting these. But, it, all right. it was really good. It did, I will say, the, the one thing I will say is it did lack the least flavor. Um, but the flavor, I think that was more of the finish that it lacked. Yes. Yeah. The, yes. On the finish. Exactly. Which is understandable for 90 yeah. proof, especially after coming off of tasting two. Actually, this is the last bottle. So every single bottle that we tried up to this was very high proof. Mm -hmm. Then you go down low. To yeah, to, to Buffalo Trip, exactly. So second place, um, we have two bottles left and I've got some guesses so far, guesses right. I said this was, after second guessing myself, this is a Four Roses mm -hmm. or, uh, or Knob Creek. This was definitely Knob Creek. I think this is the 1792 and I really enjoyed this. This bottle a lot. I enjoy it. It's really good. It's such a cool bottle. And it is the 1792. Uh, it's, I'm getting it's, it's the pride of Deion I'm, Sanders. I'm excited uh, about this. Dude, this bottle is also the coolest one, the coolest looking one. Look at that. Indeed. Prime time. I'm a big Cowboys fan, so you know I love I love Dion just as much as the next guy, but um I didn't think it was that great. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean um it's it, it was better than the Four it's roses. Better than the four roses, but it it was mid. It was mid to say the least. And then I'll talk about I'll I'll talk about it a little bit more too. So 1792 makes some great stuff. A lot of their bottles tend to be a little hit or miss. When I tried this for the first time, I love it. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. It's good. Um, you weren't the biggest fan of this, but we both were a pretty great fan of this. And I had my guess so, on this. I knew this was gonna be number one. Um 
I didn't know. After I tasted these, I knew whatever this glass yeah. is has got to be number one. And I had a feeling it was JT Miller. It just sips so good for me. It's, I don't know, it's so sweet. It's unique, but not totally different because I'm not looking for something just so different from the rest of the bourbons so, that I know. Yeah, so I, I, I've i sipped on, J, I've actually only had two pours of JT Millick. I, and I obviously, I, I think I'm on my countless amount of bottle of Buffalo Trace, <laughs> yeah. but um, JT Millick, I've only had two pours of, and I'm a big fan of it. it, it it's very good. Um, and once you said, that, I, I, I know I said that this was unfamiliar, <laughs> but once you said it was JT Mellick, I started thinking about it and I, I realized like, if, if I'm thinking about the grains, I, it, it did feel like yeah. a rice whiskey, but um, overall, this was very good. And um, you said, you said, the, it. you said that one in your second place were interchangeable yes. for you. Yeah. This, it, if I, you know, it depends on the night. Right. hundred percent. You know what I mean? Totally agree. And just every JT Mellick I have, even their small batch. And I believe that you can get them online. Uh, JT Mellick bottles, you can get some online. If you're near Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, make the trip, get yourself a bottle. If any of your YouTubers that you watch do store picks of this, I know SLB, um, I'm a big fan of, you're a big fan of, yes. we watch SLB a lot. They have a store pick that either came out or is coming out of JT Mellick. So just stay on the lookout for these because legit, these beat some bangers. Like realistically, I'm pretty sure this is like 70 bucks. These are cheap, like $25. Yeah. I think around 40, 50, and then this is like 80 to 100. This is $59. And, and is, you it, know, like, it's crazy because the most expensive bottle ranked second to last for you and last for me. It did. Um, I've never had a Four Roses um, and I, I've been very interested to try it. Um, definitely, I'll definitely buy some bottles in the future. You 100%. Know, you know, and, and check it out. Yeah, but. 100%. Overall though, JT Mellick, keep doing what's what you're the doing. Winner. Yeah. Keep doing They're what you're doing. They're killing it. They're killing the game. Killing it. I can't yeah. wait to hopefully do a store pick with them uh, in the future too. This is this yes. is just insane. I can't wait to become like when they're like more available. Hundred uh, percent. Right now, I, it's only Louisiana. I, I, am I wrong? I think they might have dove into the world of Texas. I'm not sure, but it's it's kind of all, and it's not even all over Louisiana yet. Like yeah. some stores are just getting the blue labels because the standard is a white label of it. Oh, okay. yeah. Beautiful bottle too. Yeah, it's so it cool. is a beautiful bottle. All right, guys. So that'll be it for this video. We ranked. Who is the king of creating store picks? Who produces the best store picks? And this was the order that we had. First place, second, third, fourth, fifth. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you go out and buy some of these picks. Obviously, you're not gonna get the picks that we had, but go ahead and try to find your own. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Jaron, thank you so much for coming on, dude. Hope we do more stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed. So we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I don't know how to act. Hey, yeah, have you guys seen Tal Digga Nights? Yeah. Right, uh, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing my intro and he's just gonna be. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. I was like, I was just gonna be sitting here like this. Hey, hey, Side eye. Hey, hey. <laughs> or what you should do is whenever I give you the intro, just do like this. And I got this guy, my best friend, and then you just go. Hey, or like. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it chill, dude. I don't know you're chilling. <laughs> yes. All right.